morning, I was able to pick up uh, those sheets of beadboard that I was talking about. My daughter brought me into town yesterday and we picked them up. And I also got um, a used uh, 85 gallon freshwater tank that I found on Facebook Marketplace uh, for 50 bucks. And it's a little overkill, um, not gonna lie. It's pretty much basically almost the size as underneath my bed, so it's gonna take up a lot of storage. But anyways, it was cheap, it was a good price, and I needed it. So I'm going to try to return that other one that I spent like almost $100 on. That's only 13 gallons off of uh, Amazon. Ow, my hand is hurting. It's another thing. My hands hurt, you know, my back hurts, my neck hurts, lots of things hurt. So, but I do feel better when I'm moving around, but usually in the mornings and, and at night is kind of, kind of difficult, but yeah, I'm just trying to muster up enough energy to, to get moving. Nothing like dropping something on your foot after you already cut it open. Now you thought I was having fun before. Wait till you see how I'm going to put this thing up. I'm waiting to see how I'm going to put this thing up. So I thought I had a longer 2x4 that I was going to prop this up with, but I guess I don't. Now would be a good time for all those men who drive by all the time and want to stop and see what I'm doing. For them to stop by and see what I'm doing so they can hold this up for me. Where are you guys at when I need you? So the only other thing I can think of is bringing this freshwater tank in here. Dragging that big ass thing in here. Because it, it is as tall as I am. And I'm a... Uh, five foot four so <clears throat> that will get it to probably right here you can't see but it'll get it close enough to the ceiling that I can at least put this on top of it up there to get it close enough to the ceiling that I can maybe drill in one end while this brush water tank is holding up the other end because that piece of plywood I have is not big enough. <sighs> this is why I don't like to start projects. Because it's never just a fluid, nice procedure.
glove. Maybe that wood might work now. So yeah, this is my water tank. It's bigger than me. Please let this go smoothly from here on out. Look at me, I'm gonna drill a hole first. one down.
one panel up. I'm gonna go over those the screw heads with white paint and it'll cover it up nice. I, that's what I did on the, the micro tiny house too. And then I'm gonna put trim around it. But man, oh, I'm glad that's up. It's time for another nap. It looks good. And then like coming down here, I don't know if I'm gonna continue this. I think I'm just gonna keep this in the back bedroom so it'll be kind of a different theme. Um, but then maybe I think I might continue down the side with these tongue and groove, which I'll have to go back and get more because they're easy to kind of shape around that curve on this part anyways. And do the same on the other side. Um, but also I'm going to uh, build a shelf over here on this side down that way to hide all those wires which I think I told you that in a previous video but I want to get the ceiling up first and then I'll do the shelf and then I'll do the slats going down the side oh it's getting hot guys so this is kind of what I had in mind for going along the edges here by the window all the way across and down beneath here the bottom of my thumb there is where the shelf is going to be and then I'll add some trim in between the beadboard and the, these planks and you all are probably freaking out about me putting the screws directly in the ceiling but there is like this much um, of a ceiling there you have the bottom layer of fiberglass and then you have the kind of the, the somewhat of insulation in there that honeycomb cardboard stuff which does have a small r value to it which is nice and um and then you have the upper fiberglass part so there is you know that in between part that um if you use small enough screws you're not going to pierce through the the outer layer of the shell of the of the um, shuttle bus so so that's good so that right there keeps me from doing the redundant furring strips so I'm happy about that and it, it bites really good too in that fiberglass so I'm pretty confident that it'll be fine up there once it starts moving and everything but only time will tell so I'll be your guys's guinea pig so from maybe six months from now or so or even a year we'll see how well my ceiling is doing and if it's still up and it's great then you guys don't have to do furring strips anymore at least for shuttle bus anyways i know the other regular school buses are, are made differently and out of metal instead of fiberglass mm -hmm.